Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Isra. What is an alternative to coffee? One of the things that I've noticed is that a lot of people are addicted to coffee and they're unaware of the negative effects that coffee has on their body. There are alternatives to coffee that don't even have any of the negative effects that coffee does. Actually, coffee has many positives. The thing is, the type of coffee that you drink plays a big role. It needs to be organic and it needs to be tested by a third party for any mycotoxins. So it's rich in antioxidants, it is also great for the liver, for the heart, but if you drink coffee first thing in the morning, like as soon as you wake up, coffee is dehydrating for the body. It excretes potassium, sodium, and electrolytes. And this increases your chance to have an afternoon crash. So I highly recommend to drink coffee after you drink water and or to eat food as well. That would be much, much, much better if you were to do it that way. Now, for other negatives of coffee is that for some or many people, it causes jitters, it causes nervousness, and it stimulates the fight, flight, or freeze response in the body. It also interferes with your melatonin production, especially if you drink it after 3, 4 p.m. And this can affect your sleep. And sleep is essential. Sleep is so important for resetting your body, rejuvenating your body. This can, over a long period of time, negatively impact the body in various ways for the nervous system, for your focus, for your overall mental and physical health. So some of the alternatives is cacao. Cacao is such a powerful plant medicine. Cacao is nutritionally dense. It contains magnesium, zinc, B vitamins, and especially if it's grown organically, it is very rich in these vitamins, as well as if it's ceremonial grade cacao that I personally use. This is the one that I have. I've tried different ones. And this cacao is grown organically. The farmers are paid a fair wage and it's minimally processed, so it's not exposed to high heat. And when cacao is not exposed to high heat, it preserves the antioxidants, the minerals, the vitamins that I mentioned. And magnesium is essential for relaxing the body. Magnesium glycinate specifically. Magnesium is so important for over 300 different functions within the body. So very, very important vitamin. So this is why I recommend the ceremonial grade cacao because it's minimally processed. It also preserves the energetics around cacao if you are interested in the spiritual side of connecting to yourself, to Mother Earth, to your intuition, to your heart's energy, and your inner child. So that's just a side for that one, but it's one of the main reasons why I connect to cacao, because of the energetics around it. Cacao also contains plant compounds like theobromine, which is a very gently energizing compound. It's equivalent to caffeine, but without the jitters, without the afternoon crash. The other plant compounds that cacao contains is anandamide. It's a bliss molecule. It gives you that euphoric feeling. It contains tryptophan, which is a precursor to serotonin. And serotonin is what gives you that feel-good feeling. It gives you that motivation, a happy feeling. So very important as well. And did you know that 90% or over 90% of serotonin is produced within the gut flora? So if your gut is out of balance, it will affect your mental state. PEA, it's the love molecule. It makes you feel euphoric and happy, similar to anandamide as well. Cacao contains 40 times more antioxidants than blueberries, making this very nutritionally dense and amazing for the body. So this is a cacao pod. I love cacao so much. I personally don't drink cacao every day. I will place the link to the cacao as well as a coffee brand that I uh, believe to be very clean, very good for the body. And um, this is also just normal cacao powder. This is very different. This is the cacao powder. This is pure cacao, which is the 
whole cacao bean so you're also having the cacao fat in there making it more um, satisfying and satiating some other alternatives to coffee is yerba mate uh, matcha tea green tea black tea so you can really you know mix it up and change it up with different types of drinks that give you energy and each one has its own benefit matcha is amazing for increasing your focus it's rich in antioxidants as well and i absolutely love it from time to time i have some pure matcha also i'll place a link to the one that i highly recommend trying out so i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any comments or questions please place them down below and i will see you very soon